Hello everyone, I am Dr. Dheeraj Agrawal, Consultant Gastroenterologist and Liver Specialist at Continental Hospital, Gachipoli, Hyderabad. Today we are going to talk about liver transplantation. So the first question is, what is liver transplantation? Liver transplantation is replacing bad liver with a healthy liver. So what are the sources of healthy liver? The healthy liver can be obtained from either a living donor, which is generally a family member who shares the same type of blood group, or it can be a decreased donor. Generally, those people are brain dead, but have healthy other organs like liver, they end up donating their organs. So in the first case, it is called as a living donor liver transplantation. And in the second case, it is called as a decreased donor liver transplantation. In, 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 however, in India, 85% of transplantations are happening through a, uh, through a living donor liver transplantations modality. So who requires a liver transplantation? So as I said, anybody who is having a diseased liver, the liver has got bad, that needs to be replaced with a healthy liver. So there are various reasons for uh, liver getting bad and the, one of the most important reason is liver cirrhosis. And the reasons for getting liver cirrhosis are alcohol, fatty liver, hepatitis B and C infection, autoimmune liver disease like autoimmune hepatitis, primary biliary, cholangitis and primary biliary cirrhosis. There can be metabolic conditions like Wilson disease or hemochromatosis. The other reason for the liver failure could be fulminant liver failure or acute liver failure. And sometimes, the, even for the patient with the liver cancer, the liver transplantation can be curative. So, we spoke about the donors, we spoke about the reasons uh, for which you require a liver transplantation. And now, we are going to understand how this liver transplantation surgery is done. So, anybody, any recipient who is contemplating getting a liver transplantation gets an extensive evaluation done at the specialized centers and it is done by a multidisciplinary team which involves a liver surgeon, a liver specialist, liver anesthesia doctor, social workers and psychologist doctor. And so is true for the, even the donor, the donor who is contemplating giving an organ undergoes extensive evaluation to check for the candidacy for the donor surgery. And to tell you, uh, the donor who donates a part of the liver uh, uh, the, the risk of surgery is very less and they generally regrow their liver in a three months time period. So what are the success rate with the liver transplantation? As of now with the advent of the science, to tell you the first liver transplantation was done in 1963 by Thomas Starzl in America and since then over the last 60 years there is dramatic evolvement in this technology and today the five year survival rates are close to 80 to 90 percent. So what are the complications that can happen because of liver transplantation? So the complications can be divided into two, two phases, early post-transplant period and the late post-transplant period. In the early post-transplant period, the complications can be related directly to the surgery like because of uh, the vessels, the blood vessels getting blocked, mainly the hepatic artery thrombosis or the hepatic vein or portal vein thrombosis or otherwise the complication of biliary where the place where the bile duct are joined it can either leak or it can get a stricture. The third complication can happen is the bleeding and even after liver transplantation is done it's very important to follow the doctor's instructions and keep regularly following with the doctors and keep doing periodic blood test and also to follow the healthy lifestyle uh, not to increase your weight and not to consume the alcohol and if your hepatitis B positive to continue the antiviral medications. Thank you so much.